all things work together for good, Romans 8:28 explained. There are many scriptures in the Bible that inspire us in times of trouble. One famous Bible verse that motivates us is Romans 8:28, all things work together for good for those who love God. These words only become meaningful if we have absolute faith in God. That is, when you are filled with so much pain through faith, you are undeterred. About three years ago, I met a young lady who already had five children, all girls. She and her husband have already lost hope of ever having a male child. Then, suddenly, despite using contraception, she got pregnant. They were both Christians and understood what it meant to have an abortion. Nevertheless, at this point, they do not want another female child in their home. So, I encouraged them to keep the pregnancy, and reluctantly, they agreed. And then came the D-Day, she gave birth to a male child. They both came back to thank me and were so filled with joy. What if she had an abortion? That's how God works. When we go through afflictions, we should not feel deserted. Instead, we must understand that God has better plans for His people. At all times, we must be patient and wait for God's intervention. The prophet Isaiah said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Isaiah 55 8-9 all things work together for good, what did Paul mean? Paul, in Romans 8, 28-29, said, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. This Bible verse teaches us the mindset of God in heaven. God knows all the trouble we face but allows it to occur because He knows there is a better end if we remain steadfast. Most notably is the phrase to them that love God. This phrase by Paul had an aim, to inspire and strengthen the faith of obedient Christians who face persecution. This is because there is salvation if we continue in righteousness. However, this verse is not for you if you continually live in sin. Paul was describing the promise of eternal life that is set aside for those who obey God's instructions. Therefore, for all things to work in our favor, we must repent, ask for forgiveness, return to righteousness, and shun sin always. 1 Corinthians 2 9 But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him.